Good evening, and welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show. Give me a second, and I will be right with you. <laughs> Doing great with these, huh? Okay, let's get started. Mentioning first, uh, everything is on sale. Gary Brodsky packages, $10,000 off. It's a good deal. I'm going on vacation, so I will not be taking my phone or this. Um, so got some business to take care of, all right? We'll leave it at that. Next, let's talk about the PUAs. I got a whole bunch of anagrams, Pussy in America, stuff like that. But uh, they are really, I've been watching all their videos, YouTubes, buying their stuff. They suck, okay? They can come out and challenge me anytime next week, okay? We'll be here this week. They suck. Now, I'll give you an example. Just out of nowhere. One of them says, you have to conform to the rule. And I say, the room has to conform to you. One says you have to really care and change the way the woman perceives you, changes to change that. No, you got to change yourself. You can't change anybody else. Change yourself and the world will change with you. I figured I'd mention that because people don't know how to do that. Every day it's the same routine for people. And they are so lovesick. And I'm talking about men here. Love lost, looking for any affection or attention. That you look like desperados, fools, dream you name it. And these guys appeal to that. They absolutely do. They're all like in their 20s. And every one of them, their family put up the money and said, hey, go out there, you know, teach you guys how to pick up girls, whatever. They don't have a goddamn clue about shit. It's almost funny because they all look at them, okay? They say, if a guy looks like me, you can get girls. Well, you can improve the way you look. There is no such thing as an unattractive man, nor a woman. Just a lazy man. Oh. And if you take stock in yourself, you take pride in yourself, and you love yourself, you get them all. But they don't talk about that. Instead, they talk about, well, what if she this, what if she that, what if she this, she that, she this again. And uh, they never mention, what about, hey, you, what do you think? What do you care? What if you don't like her? They totally disempower you. And that's why I think they're dangerous. A powerized alpha guy is going to get whatever the hell he wants. Whatever he wants. Some people may call him a prick, a bastard, a scumbag. It doesn't matter because he's got a drive and instead of the, oh, I want to pick her up mentality, he's got the, I'm going to conquer, I'm going to win, and I don't lose mentality. And that is a big attractive. Very big. I feel bad for guys today. Not all of them, but the guys are going to, she can return my text. You're more of a man than to let that bother you. She did not return your text. And if you go to text, do it right. GaryBrodsky.com, the texting game. She'll return your text. Oh, will she return them? But these guys, how? The 10 super texts. No, I play with the mind. Not a nice thing, is it? But it works. They do it everywhere. Government does it. Everybody does it. But you, yeah, you have a right to do the same thing. Everything is advertising, promotion, and sales. And if you think about this, what is advertising, promotion, and sales about? Creating attraction. That's it. Simple. Easy. You're not going to create attraction by a technique. I can show you technique here. That's the right cross. Go fight professionally. No, you have to have the heart, the drive, the goal, and you've got to practice. And I've got it all.
for sale. So they're going on vacation. Instead of what does this audio do? What does that audio do? Well, now you have them all. One shot, $10,000 savings. More information than these guys can give you in a million years because they don't know shit. And uh, let's just see if there's any questions here. I think it's not vibrating. <laughs> hey, Susie, how are you? Gary, please do your show with your shirt off. You promised us, ladies. It may come off later. Hang around. Stick around. Chris. Hi, Chris. Good evening, Mr. Brodsky. Only worrying about changing oneself is the best advice one can give. Nor can one be bothering changing other people. That's absolutely true. And nothing bothers somebody as somebody trying to change you. First of all, it's not going to work. Second of all, if it does work, they're going to hate what they change you into. They are going to hate it. And that's called being pussy. When you let somebody change you, into something else, and then guess what? Then they don't like you anymore. The whole idea is not to take it that seriously. The whole game cannot be taken seriously. It can be played with serious knowledge, because that's the only way to win is with knowledge. Knowledge is the biggest commodity in the world. And I've got all the real stuff, which we all know. It's a fact. It's a known fact. But when you care too much, when you care too much, you cannot win. And that's something that Donald Trump has mentioned in a lot of his speeches. He said, never go into a business deal that you are not prepared to walk away from. And the same is so true with picking up women. And uh, what these other guys preach or teach or instruct is just so damaging, like saying negative comments to girls. Yeah, there's a way to do it, but not like a, a three-year-old annoying. And I tell you, to do this like an annoying kid brother. No. In fact, I don't know why negative comments should ever be said to anybody. Unless, of course, you're in a fight or something like that, which you're not. The whole game is to win. And the whole game is to win without losing. Now, when you go home, you go, oh, I tried to hit on this girl. It didn't work out. Oh, what do I got to do? You lost. When you go home, you go, hey, what the hell do I care? Oh, screw her. I get another one. That's when you have a winning mentality. And that's something that is missing. We have a real graveyard of ambition today of drive, of passion, of goals. And you think a woman's going to be attracted to a guy who's just being, from being alive? Doesn't happen. So put some life into yourself. Lonnie, it's being worked on and it will go out next week. So no fear there. Ah, off topic, it's okay. There's no topic. Oh, I guess there is. Gary, I hate to be off topic. Where do you think the economy is going? I read Russia is attacking the U.S. and EU economically. You know something? I wish I had an answer for that. The truth is, I don't think anybody knows. We've always had fictitious debt. Uh, the important thing you should be asking, and I'm not, I know you use it, but I know it's a general question, is how is your economy going? Because it is very hard to take on the world's problems. Believe me, I've tried. It is very hard. And it is true that it is easier, check out wealthpluspower.com, to make millions of dollars than to get a minimum wage job. So part of you has to say, fuck the world. I don't give a shit what the economy is. I don't give a shit about political correctness. I don't give a shit about the way you're supposed to act. I'm doing it my way. Yeah, I know that Elvis song, right? But it's absolutely true. You start to get involved in stuff, and uh, 
you start bringing negativity, and negativity is one thing you don't want to bring to the table. Anywhere, any table. That's why a lot of guys, and this is on uh, a lot of my audios, it's on the uh, new ones, it's on the old ones, and it's on the texting game, because texting is here to stay. I don't like it, but it's here, and it's not going away. Is just what I'm saying. You've got to put some life into it. And you've got to say, screw what everybody else is doing. I'm going to win. I don't care. I am going to win. And yes, it is tragic. There are going to be winners and there are going to be losers. But I think a loser is a winner that just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. Does not know how. Really, for lack of knowledge, many of you are perishing out there. So, uh, GaryBrotsky.com. You know, I'm not being selfish. I am being... Something's buzzing here. There's a fucking shaving thing here. But, you know, again, back to changing people. And that's true on both sides, men and women. You can't meet a woman and say, well, I'm going to change her. Most guys don't do that. Most guys just have to aim at a woman. Already, sign of weakness. That is something that the other guys don't teach. Then why would you want to change her anyway? Freedom. Everybody fights for it. Everybody dies for it. The whole world is still going crazy trying to get it. You give a woman her freedom. You got it forever. You start taking her freedom by saying, where would you go? Who are you with? First of all, you sound like a fucking jerk. And second of all, she's going to leave your ass. Fact. You know, guys have just become so pussy down. And Susie, send me a picture of you so I can make sure you're a girl. Because I mean, you have some crazy people on here tonight. Not, you know, I don't know if you're crazy or not, but. Yeah. You know, there is going to be a webinar coming up when I come back that will explain exactly how easy it is to meet women. But knowledge is the key factor in anything. Guys don't want knowledge anymore. They just want results without knowledge, results without work. That's what we have. A generation of people want results. Everybody wants to be famous. You want to be famous? Fill out your application for dancing with the stars and send that shit in. Okay, you got to know how to walk into a room Yes, Alani, I can. I'll do it before I leave. Deal? Deal. Okay. Good man out there. A lot of good men watch the show. The guys who should be watching the show are home texting girls. She didn't text me back. That, that's, you know, when I see a guy breaking up over that, you guys have had this out of fuck. Who cares? You know, um, this is a funny story. I know Renee wants us to do something on my Facebook. Uh, I was going out with this girl in Louisiana, I mean, Arlen. And she broke up with me, temporarily. She didn't know it was going to be temporary. She said, um, I think you'd be a very good boyfriend for somebody else. You know, an old speech for giving money all right, yeah, I'll have to finish the speech. And I think you make somebody else a very good boyfriend, make somebody else very happy. I said, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. The next day I was dating her sister. Mm -hmm. She calls me up. Well, I actually didn't have phones down there. She kind of like, what are you doing dating my sister? I, well, I said, you said you might make the boyfriend of anybody with only your sister. Now she wants me back. So I wound up dating both of them, which is you know, the way it worked, because I didn't care that much. So, you know, I'm not going to say, well, what did I do wrong? This is what other guys tell you to do. Break up, act like this, act needy, act that women are going to go for that. They're not. It's okay to need things. It's okay to, you know, but it's not okay to be needy. There's a difference. If you drown, hey, can you throw me a rope? That's not being needy. That's being practical. And picking up women is a practical game. These other guys, I have the one uh, new audio out. Uh, it's an NLP. 
because NLP works, but you have to have somebody in the room where they do it for like 16 hours of brainwashing. If you haven't moved that long, you don't need to. Wow, a lot of questions. Good thing I'm on vacation. Have a nice day. All right, just kidding. Okay, whoa, whoa. Where did the questions begin? Where did they end? Uh, yes, David, I do. And I'm not going to say it over, over, over the air, but, um, Just uh, send me that email again, and I'll send you somebody who really you can talk to. And put your phone number in the email, please, because the guy is not going to do email back and forth. This is a serious people. All right, we have a comment here. On another note, I have thought of this recently. Most males would not say this, so I will break that fucking conversation. It's sad but true. Your show would not be the same if you did not smoke. Any asshole who has a problem with you smoking can fuck off. Chris, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I guess I am smoking. I didn't even realize it. You know, I'm a real, I'm a real smoker. You know how I know? I have one in the ashtray lit, one in my mouth lit, and I have another one in my hand without the light. Um, yeah. And people will tell me this, you know, if you don't quit smoking, you're going to die. It's like, oh, shit, I didn't know I'd be good forever. Yes, I am going to die one day. So is everybody else listening to this. It's the smoking. Shut up. You know, years ago, hey, James Bond smoked, okay? End the story, end the problem. Smoke. I smoke to look cool, it works, okay? Just a strange world. But if you notice, if you notice, everybody out there is not your friend anymore. I'm your friend. That's okay. You don't need all other friends. They're your critic, your life coach, not in the way you want. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. The whole world has become a bunch of rude, snotty critics. You shouldn't say this. You shouldn't say that. There is an illness that will destroy us quicker than anything else you're worried about. It's called political correctness. You know, uh, I am a writer, and people sometimes send me stuff, and I have to say, well, I, you know, I didn't get a chance to read it. I can't tell the truth. It sucks. Because, oh, by now I can get sued. But uh, that's the world we are living in is a very religious world. The religion is political correctness. The end is out. Total, mutually assured destruction. So, what do you do? Let's think about this. Don't be politically correct. Speak your mind. That's why the rebel, the bad guy, and the prick, and if you don't have it right now, how to be a prick, audio. They get the women. Not the politically correct guy. I see them, and it's really disgustingly embarrassing to see a guy trying to be PC with a woman. Because PC sounds like pussy, and they actually are the same thing. Okay? I call guys PC whipped. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good, but that's what I call them. It's checking for mail. Just in case you didn't know that. Hey, and mail is here. John, how are you? Good evening. Nice to hear from you again. Long time, I know. It's a constant battle against PC everywhere you go, but an alpha male attitude is always the way to go. Change is good. Only deprogram yourself literally on the garbage being pushed out there. It says me how many sissy girls hang out with men and watch with envy me taking these ladies away. Come on, fellas. Grow some nuts. Buy Gary's product. Hey, John, thanks. It's true. Guys have no balls today. None at all. They don't work with you. They work against you. They criticize. They complain. They'll go, hey, how can we work this out? Simple. You aren't going to hear that. You know, even the uh, P-Ways, they're not like, yeah, 
Here's how I can help you. Let me show you how to, no, it's like, here's what you're doing wrong. This is, no, you don't work with people like that. These guys wouldn't have existed in the 60s or 70s. It'd be a fucking joke. You know, you don't, that's why you have to be 35 years old or older to be president. These guys are 19, 18 years old. They're experts. They got laid once. Whoa, big deal. You learn, and I always do when I was a kid, I learn from the older generation. Every time I saw a grandfather, I go, hey, this guy had to get laid, right? He's a grandfather. I learned from him. I learned from everybody. I always say I'm the ultimate white belt. I'm willing to learn. And let's see what else is out there. Nothing? Ha <laughs> ha yeah. That means it's time for soda. And that's the music that I can play without getting flagged for copyright music. Kind of sick, isn't it? But there is a guy out there, I'm not going to mention his name because he'll sue me for that, who will say, write to everybody that I'm using copyright and song and have my videos pulled. Why? Because he's a feminist. He's what today's male is. He's politically correct. He's doing the right thing and all that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck him too. Now the music. To all of you. And I'm back. I need some more questions. Thank you. <laughs> Ripping on dating gurus. This is going to be good. I know that. I know that. I finished a book called How to Get Her Phone Number. Here's a preview. Step one, say, give me your phone number. Step two, accept the phone number. I like that. Stay tuned for my next book. Just fucking call her already. Excellent advice. That's my advice too. You want a phone number? I didn't even ask. Give me your phone number. They'll do it. If you ask, it's weakness. It's giving them the power of decision or either yay or nay. No debate. Give me your phone number. You gotta talk, act, walk, live, think, breathe like a man. That they don't teach. Look at these other guys. 45 necklaces, 1600 headbands, goggles, uh, skinny jeans, uh, haircut on one side. That is not something we're going to go, wow, I got this, I got to have this guy. I got to wake up next to this fucking jerk off. I have one of those boots tonight, okay? I do apologize if I offend anybody. No, I don't really care, okay? Facts are facts. Why am I checking the mail now? It's not time. It's time for a cigarette. Found these in my car. I can't find my phone charger. I found this, but what the hell? But the PUAs out there who call themselves PUAs are all really just so fucking boring. You know, they actually have a way to kill you without the martial arts. They talk you to death. By the time I'm done listening to one of their audios, they, I don't even want to go to war with them anymore. And they all have that same voice. Wait, well, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this. They are trying to emasculate men by virtue of them being a role model. You know who your best role model is? You. you got to be your best role model. They don't even have role models out the guys anymore. I was thinking about the 70s. We had Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, uh, all the great musicians, all the great stuff. Now, we have nothing. we got to build ourselves every day up. In some way, improve something then the world will be yours. Very interesting question, but not worth my time, okay? Not worth my time. Another anti-smoking uh, comment. It's just really amazing 
that actually smoking has been one of the best pickup, uh, I guess, devices you can find. So all you do is go out and smoke, and women will come up to you and go, Oh my God, I can't believe you're smoking. Like they never saw it before. And I get them a conversation. Now, I'm not saying that's the way to pick up women, but it's just that the desire to critique, to put somebody down, to make somebody feel low, it's just not right. And that's what these other guys do, is they tell you to be negative. Go over and insult a girl. Yeah, that's a good way to pick up women. Hey, skank, how you doing? Yo, bitch, what's up? Hey, moron, that doesn't work. Say something negative about her. You're missing a tooth. No. Women are very insecure about their looks. Compliments work. Flattery works. Especially real flattery. There's got to be something. You see a woman, and you find something you really like about her, and you tell her, guess what? You just establish a connection. And if you do it right, as I, which is on all my products, you don't really have to ask for a phone number. They will be throwing phone numbers at you. And they'll be calling you saying, why didn't you call me? That's the way it was years ago, and that's the way it is in my world at GaryBrodsky.com, where just by being a man, a woman wants you. Remember those old black white movies? Oh, a man, I gotta have him. Is he single? And if he's not single, where do we get a hotel? That's the world that used to be, and that's the world that still is, but it's so veiled on this politically correct PUA bullshit that nobody even sees it anymore. That's a fact. Hey, how you doing? Your yeah, fantastic audios like how to get women easily, how to be cool, teach a man a lot of things to not do and a lot of things to stop doing. What are some things a guy can do to get the girl sexually attracted to you quickly? Yeah, next week, sorry about that. Uh, the best thing a guy can do to get a girl sexually attracted to him is not play this game. And this is what the PUAs do, which is really stupid. All right? Uh, I'll call him assholes. Okay, that's, that's it. Is when you approach a woman, guess what? She knows why you're approaching her. And to pretend it's something different, like, hey, isn't the beautiful out? That's good for openers. You're really hot. you got to get sexual immediately. The longer you wait, the longer you wait, the further the target moves. Because we're starting to get pissed off, and this is a fact, if a guy doesn't start getting sexual immediately. They start thinking first, as I always say, they think, oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, no, fuck it. What's wrong with him? You know, if you look at the Star Trek from years ago, remember in the sick bay, you know, the woman would come to visit the guy and the guy would just grab her? That's how men acted back then. And there is no law, no rule that says you can't act like that today. And I'm not talking about sexual harassment or sexual annoyance, because that's a beta game. We don't play that here. We play alpha. When we want a woman, they know it, and we get them. And you're right. That audio program, How to Be Cool, I think everybody should have it should be mandatory listening. Because it's got how to walk in there, how to talk, how to sit, how to posture yourself. Anytime someone gets it, 2,000 reviews. Uh, but people don't like the title because cool is out of style. Being a jerk off is in style. Not saying that city had to be a jerk off, probably do millions. You know, I see some of these guys have seminars, fifteen thousand dollars for a weekend. Give me fifteen grand, I'll line up hookers. Sometimes it's better to rent it to own. Just saying. They'll teach you more about getting women than these guys will. Because you gotta have guts to walk into whole houses. And I've been in them, believe me. Not recently, because they don't have many more because guys don't go. Supply and demand. Guys just get shit of women. And if you show fear. As Muhammad Ali says, he used to look somebody in the eye. As soon as they show fear, he'd go to work. And as soon as you show fear, that's when a woman's going to go to work on tearing you to fucking pieces. Believe me, you know it. I know it. Women can be vicious. But not when you're in control.
And that, that's something guys forgot. It's your game. It's a pickup game. It's a guy's game. You're in control. You can win every time. But guys forgot that. GaryBrotsky.com. Everything is on sale. When I get back from vacation, everything's off sale. And that's what everybody's going to say. Oh, can you put the sale back on? No, I'm not. I'll tell you right now. No. Checking for mail. Captain Pretentious has the initial CP, which is backwards is PC. This was a happy coincidence. That was my pen. When I first came up with the name, no new adventures or misadventures right now. I see the PC guys everywhere. You see them too. They wear brown shorts. They say to me, why do you have their huge fits muscles? They don't do anything they're just big. Really? I'm bagging your wife? How do you feel about that, huh? you got to have that presence of male energy. That draws female energy. Just like magnets. That presence is power. That presence is everything taught at GaryBrotsky.com. When you have the presence, and you've seen these guys. <laughs> good imitation, right? They're pretty good. That does do it. It's like, hey. And I'll give you the word again, in case you forgot it. The word that will get you women. This is free of charge. So is everybody ready? There is one word that gets women. And there's a lot of words, but there's one word in general use. And nobody sees it. And it's not those negative comments about women that you have those other assholes. Not like I'm an asshole, those other the assholes, okay? We just made it straight. It's baby. Why? Look at every rock and roll song. Think of one that doesn't have the word baby in it. Yeah, you can probably think of one if you sit there. But most of them have baby in there. And that's why women went crazy for rock stars. Because they use the word baby. Women are like kids. They're all over the place. They're silly. They're fun. And you're supposed to have fun. But lose control, have a kid run your life. Your life's going to to fucking shit. Okay, I didn't want this thing to uh, populate, but who the fuck cares? I'm lighting another one. Oh my god, that's one minute and something off my life. Someone told me, you know, if you smoke, you're going to lose 10 years off your life. I said, yeah, but it's the worst 10 years. If there's any warning on this one. You know, warning may result in low pregnancy weight. Low birth rate. I don't have to worry about that, do I? Just trivia here. Dan Block was like 24 pounds when he was born. He's like the heaviest baby on record. Just mention that. You got a fascination with people named Horse, okay? Um, yes, there is a connection. I can't get into details. But that's what I'm talking about. And that's on how to be cool. If you don't have it, get it now. How to be cool is at GaryRothy.com because it is that important. There is a big difference when you walk into a room and you command the room, you command the people, you command their emotions, you can get them hot, you can get them in fear, you can get them to love you, you can get them to do anything. Or you can walk into a room and let the room run your fucking life. And the other PUA is encourage that. Let the room run your life. Go with the flow. No. Dead fish go with the fucking flow, okay? Questions for those of you who do not know how to get here. Gary Brodsky123 to AOL.com. And oh, it's almost sort of break time. No, actually, it is. I have a mistake. 
Yeah, I have a crazy bottle tonight, okay? It's like my thermos or whatever. Because so I can carry around three cans at once. I should get a hat with, you know, never mind. <laughs> Soda. How to be cool is the best audio tape I have ever heard. It has changed my life. Tell every use the word. No political correctness here. Tell every motherfucker to get one. Tonight. This guy's fucking serious business. If it works for him, it works for anybody because you can practice. You know, people do not practice. These P Way teach you a whole bunch of techniques. They go, all right, you all flew in here 3,000 miles, stayed in a hotel, went out to a bar one night, had some set of girls there for you. Now go home to your hometown where you have nobody to support you, no knowledge you can take with you. And you got a phone number from somebody 3,000 miles away. What is that shit? And this show should be more popular. It is on YouTube, so nobody watches it live. Well, why don't you do it earlier? Shut up. Okay. Now, how to be cool. Anybody have that? Let me know what you think of it. And the uh, covert NLP. That shit is working. Why? Because I get more emails. On that, I got emails from people who are not watching the show right now saying that is one of the best audios because covert NLP, they'll never know what hit them. Never know what hit them. Yeah, playing the human mind is sometimes not right, but we all do it. Do you want to be victims or victors? There is no neutrality here. No neutrality. You either win and get, or you lose and you don't get. That's okay to lose and don't get. But it's not okay to lose and don't get and start destroying yourself. And I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen a guy get blown off by a girl once and has not dated since. I've seen it more than once. I've gotten calls from guys in their 40s and 50s. Well, I haven't dated in 20 years. Why? Are you really nice or something? No, some girl blew me off and never recovered. It's a state of mind, an attitude, and everything is attitude. That's why the greatest book written on money, Think and Grow Rich. It doesn't say anything more than think and grow rich. Not work hard and grow rich, labor, think and grow rich. And if you want to think and get women, well, all the tools are there at GaryBrotsky.com. Just mentioning it. Oh, ungrateful, eh? <laughs> Good joke. Now I got this goddamn silly word again. And somebody invited me to play Commander Crush on, on Facebook. Like, yeah, my life is not that fucked up yet. That's what we're becoming. Technological morons. I know somebody who can work any computer, do anything, can't fucking get laid, but he can work a computer. It's said what technology has done to us. It's supposed to be a tool. Yeah, I got a tool right here. Uh, it's not a joke. Uh, it's a magnifying glass. Or a looking glass. Because I like to play Sherlock Holmes sometimes. I have it. It's on my desk. It is not my obsession. I don't walk around like this all day. But you see guys and women walking around like this. And unless you're alpha enough, 
which is taught at Gary Brathgat's Comic again, because I know about the advertising, but me, yeah. To learn how to be alpha enough, you ain't going to pull somebody away from this. This is now everybody's best friend. It's everybody's obsession. They stare at them all day. Yeah, I was staring at this all day today. Nothing changed. Nothing changes. I don't know. Maybe they have a different uh, setup. Go to the Alpha Store. I mean, the uh, App Store and buy some down. Fuck that. Okay, I got to put the cigarette out. I almost started a fire in the ashtray. That was fun. One of the shows, I started a big fire in the ashtray. Had to use my Pepsi to put it out. Hi, Gary. How to be cool is fucking badass. Even during the good old days, how to be cool, how to be a prick when in love, I knew right then you were legit. I have almost every audio, and I do have every ebook that you've ever released. That's how fucking good this shit is. Damn right. Thank you. That's how good it is. That's how well it works. And I'll tell you one thing about my consultations is uh, I have a list over there. You can't see it's over there. That way. Of people I have consultations with, and half of them, more, they don't call me anymore. The one guy, he now, he couldn't meet a girl. He only does two at a time. And I'll tell you a funny story about him. He said, I don't know if I can meet women, this and that. I told him, go out, just do everything. I, you know, gave him the whole program, go out through this. It was a private consultation. And this guy, if you think it's money and cars, he has all the money and cars you can think of. Could not meet a woman. He went out that night. And I may have told the story before, but uh, what the hell. And he met two girls. And he goes, I got two girls. And I, I don't know which one to hit. He said, they're friends. He goes, yeah. I said, take them both. I said, women always have. This is if any guy who want to know how to get a threesome, it's really easy. I said, just say to both of them, hey, why don't you spend the, uh, come back to my place. He goes, okay, I'm going to try it. Calls me back to the bathroom. I can tell because he had a toilet flush. And he says, they're going to come back with me. But I did one better. I'm taking them away to my cabin. This guy's got, you know, all the money in the world. Couldn't meet a woman for the weekend. I said, don't do that. Just take them to your place and then throw them out. No, no, no. This is going to be the best night. Two girls. It's been a long time. All right. End that one. Calls me up the next day. It was on a Friday. Called me up. Saturday afternoon goes, I am now stuck entertaining these two morons. Now what? I said, you're yeah, a lawful brain for a long goddamn weekend. But now, after four or five consultations, he only takes two or three at a shot. And he has not failed yet. And he still has four consultations out of 12 left. And I'm just waiting for him to call again. Because he's going to want five? Same thing. It's all confidence. As this gentleman just said before. Every book, every audio, that's how fucking good this shit is. And I have it all on sale right now. When I get back from vacation, sale ends forever. Derek, hey, good evening, how are you? Gary, what do you do if you get sick of your long-term girlfriend that has a great body, face, and personality? Do you go on a two-week break to refresh your relationship or just end it if it's going stale? I say, you know, you got something of some value, keep it on the side. Keep it on the side. It's like those shirts in the closet that you occasionally wear. It goes like that. No conscience, no heart. Got to be like that. When real love hits, which is very rare, then you have a conscience and a heart. But in the beginning, you conquer. And if she's like getting on your nerves, just like an old shirt, I don't like the shirt anymore, but suddenly I may wear it again. I just throw it in the closet. I don't give a shit what she does, what she thinks. You know, that's it. Let her call, let her fax, let, you know. That was the coolest thing a girl did to me. I wasn't taking her calls, I was tired of them. She faxed me, that won me over, won me back. A little creative thinking. Yo, Ryan, how's it going? All right. I don't know why I did that. 
Okay, this is a good one. Time for a cigarette. What if the girl is the one putting the moves on you? She approaches you and asks for your number and talks sexual to you without you initiating. I am thinking this can be very good or very bad. Ryan. Ryan, I'll end your dilemma. Very good. Okay? End of story. For some reason or somehow, and that's what I, why I tell people to buy the audios, is you got lucky. You did something right by accident, which is good. But if you, and I, and I know you have a lot of the audio, so I'm, I'm going with this for the general people out there. What Gary Bratz.com is about is not getting lucky because you did something right by accident. It's not on you personally, Ryan. It's for those other listeners out there. It's creating that every time you go out, where you create the luck. Because when a guy gets lucky, he did something right by accident, and doesn't know what it is. Doesn't know what it is. Then goes out and hopes he can repeat the uh, accident again. We know what you're doing. You can repeat that accident on purpose and you will win every time. GaryBrotsky.com. That's right. Oh, this way, I got this goddamn gyro. Hey Gary, how do you recognize when you have met your true lover or potential wife to be? I have an answer for that. When you have no more guard up and you can joke around and be yourself, do whatever the hell you want, do not get invaded, do not get questioned, do not get interrogated, have none of your freedoms taken but your life enhanced, have somebody behind you who encourages you, who will stand by you, during thick and thin. Somebody who believes in you. Not that's love. That's what it is. Not somebody who stands against you and everything you do and all that's not going to work or you're a moron. Love and infatuation are two different things. Infatuation feels better, but it winds up, you know, it's like driving a car 900 miles an hour and you crash. Love is when you're like, I can just relax here, I'm taking a nap. Okay, go ahead. Hey, did you get enough rest? You can feel it. It's just not that heavy. Infatuation is heavy. It's more fun, but love is more real. On that note, soda break time. <laughs> picture me the right, right person. Um, getting onto the dating uh, guys. Most of them want to estrogenize men, uh, take the manliness out of men, and a lot of them tell you, act like a woman to get a woman. Do you act like a fish to get a fish? I like jump around the boat like you have no air? Morons, okay? Absolute morons. That's, that's all I'm going to say about them. But for entertainment value, it's definitely worth watching. You know, I'd be wearing like a basking shirt, a hat, you know, it's just... Uh, true. Absolutely true. How to be cool is really helped him a lot. And it will help anybody a lot. Because why is cool out of style? Did you get a note in the mail? Did somebody say you can't be cool anymore? Cool works. But guys don't want to be cool. They want to be accepted. And there's a big difference. And you'll learn that on that audio program. Being accepted in this society is that condemnation. No one has nothing to do wearing a condom, okay? I grew up in uh, Louisiana and Brooklyn. Brooklyn is where I became sexually active. I didn't even know what the word condom meant. 
I used to go in the drugstore. Give me a pack of scumbags. So, yeah. I remember a classy girl I used to date when I was younger. It's like, hey, we can go to my parents' place. They're not going to be home. Do you have scumbags? Yeah, I got scumbags. <laughs> I miss those good old days. They a lot of fun. I remember this. Hey, Palehead, can I borrow a pack of scumbags? He always had scumbags. <laughs> what scumbags are you like? <laughs> they charge me for them. Man, people laugh like how oh, they are. It's a scumbag story. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm asking for shits and giggles. When some men or males meet a woman and start acting insane when they fall in love, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, I think everybody acts insane, but when they act insane, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It depends on you know, your definition of insanity. But if you can't act insane in front of a woman, you got the wrong woman. When you try to be sane is when you try to be, you know, I, I don't read the definition of insanity is. Because I know so many people, I guarantee the definition of insanity that I believe as a kid, these guys are living it. And women love crazy men. The guy, the greatest pickup artist who ever lived is not me. I know, right? You didn't expect that, did you? Who is it? Okay. This is a, a call question. I'll give it one minute because times are running out. But the greatest pickup artist who ever lived in the last hundred years, we'll say, okay? And I'll tell you who it is. Let's see if anybody knows why I light this cigarette in the ceremony of the cigarette lighting. I got this light for free. It's about this big, okay? But I appreciate it, and appreciation is something that we'll discuss another time. Nobody knows, I gotta give it another minute, who the greatest pickup artist of the last hundred years are. I'll give you a hint, he had 52 really beautiful women that he would rotate and sleep with. And they would do whatever he said. And I actually got interviews with this guy. And it's on mind control at GaryBratsky.com. And there's some real scary stuff in there. But the greatest pickup artist that ever lived, you'll see his picture right there. If you go to GaryBratsky.com. But let's see if anybody guessed it yet. Wrong, 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 and wrong. Okay, a little soda break, and I'll tell you. Yeah, unless somebody comes in with the answer. Hello, hi. It's for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do one show of just stupid fucking jokes. On a different channel because I'm going to pull this shit right down. Not this one, but I got some really bad jokes. I don't know whether this, I should smoke through it. I should put a cigarette in a water pipe with soda in the water pipe, and that's how I should smoke. You got it, David, you got it. Charles Manson, absolutely true. The guy gets two million letters from women a month. And you want to find out how he did it? Go to GaryBrows.com, audios, and you'll see his picture. Charles Manson. Women still worship him. Young women. He has a bigger following of young women today than he did back then. And I got to tell you, that's the biggest and best pickup artist. He's got millions of dollars in his prison account. He's five foot two, totally doesn't look like the out kind of guy, but he was so alpha and so direct and knew women's minds so well, he had 52 women when they arrested him. So yeah, you want to learn what he learned. As I said, this is a game of winning. He won. He didn't win court, but he won the women. 
It's mind control. It's got his picture on there. It's a scary picture, but it's a scary world, and we play to win out here, okay? End of stories. Another Charles Manson. You guys know your shit. You want to learn from him? Mind control. You'll see his picture. GaryBrowski.com. People are scared to learn the real facts. They want to live in comfort and joy. And, oh, I got a text from a girl. No, you want a girl like the way he had him? You do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. Yes, sir. Or be politically correct and join the world of who the hell else remember you ever lived. Okay, question. That's the face they're going to put on the picture right now. Is the good idea to tell a girl that you are always a liar, like a bad boy, when you first meet her, or you pretend to be a clean-cut Boy Scout? You don't pretend. You conquer. Lying today, personally, I don't like it. But it's done in politics or anything. Who cares? The truth will get somebody more frightened. That's true. No reason to lie. No reason to lie. You don't have to impress her. She has to impress you. And when you're lying, you try to impress somebody. It's true. That's why I say, you know, and any audios, there's a time to lie. Like, did you go out with my best friend? No. Of course not. But no, we don't need to lie. Because lying is how to impress them. And they can see this weakness. However, if they catch you lying about something, you know, like, cheating, they kind of think it's cool. So there is a way to, Charles Manson did not lie. He just commanded. And you want to learn how to command? It's up only until I come back. Next week, that thing is gone. And it's gone forever. Mind control. You see this picture right there. But lying, yeah, there's ways to tell girls, well, yeah, I do what I ever have to do to win. That's it. Whatever I have to do to win, I do. I don't care what you think. Oh, I, I all that stuff, GaryBrodsky.com is the answer to every question about women. Need I say more? Yeah, but I don't have the time. So, um, never heard back from the girl about the uh, muscles and the shirts off, so uh, let's see. Nope. All right, well, let's call it a night here, everybody. Um, I will be unavailable by phone and email for one week. The sale is on at GaryBrowski.com. Make use of it. And now for the Gregorian chant sign-off, which is important. And I thank everybody for watching the show. Remember, go to YouTube. See all my videos. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Why? <laughs> hey, why not? Bless you all. Have a great week. I will see you next Sunday. Thank you again for watching. Best to all of you. Happy hunting. Conquer. Win. And good evening.